Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to group or outline data. So basically what you want to do when you want to group data is you're going to create an outline. And you can either do that with columns or you can do that with rows. So in this first instance where we are grouping data by columns, you can see that uh, there is a fiscal or there's a calendar year and it's separated by quarters and these quarters are the totals of the first three months the second three, second three months, the third three months, and the fourth three months. And you can see up here, the way that it gets grouped, we have these one and twos where you can basically just click on them and they will collapse them into a summary format where you can do some quick, easy analysis, or if you want some detail, you can go into the detail layers. I believe it goes, can go up to eight levels of detail in Excel. You can also click on the icons here, the minus, there's a plus and minus signs to individually collapse them or expand them. So I've collapsed them, I can expand all of them at the same time. Or you can also go into the data tab and go to outline and go ahead and either get the summary or expand them out. So in this instance, since we're clicked into cell E, it's only going to expand or collapse it if we have the whole selection do just click that cell do a control a we can pretty much collapse everything or expand everything so that was for the columns now an example for the rows is very similar you have your details with one and two could be three through five and also we can do our collapse here and our expansions there one thing to keep in mind for creating an outline if we want to group data is we need to have a summary row or a summary column and this basically summarizes it's a form it needs to be a formula you can see here these are formulas that summarize our grouping so this Q1 is going to summarize these three months this Q2 is going to summarize these three months and when we have our rows here this in this example this this east cell this is going to be a summary of all the cells for the region east so that is one thing that needs to be kept in mind for creating outlines is that summary cell it should be a formula that summarizes your groupings. Let's go ahead and see how we can create uh, summaries or outlines for columns. Now let's go into this tab where I have the data laid out and there is no outline set. So you can either go ahead and go under the group and do and just group them individually. We, we can select we can select our cells here and we can group them and it will ask us if we want to group by rows or columns. In this instance we're going to group by columns. In addition to grouping it individually with the icon here under the outline group and going into the group command we can also use a keyboard shortcut. So if I select these three cells I need to press shift alt and then the right arrow and that's going to bring up the same group dialog box and I just want columns here and I can do the same thing here Sh shift out right arrow columns shift out right arrow columns right and this oops I didn't select the cell so let me do control Z to undo that let's select these three cells shift out right column and click OK now see now I have my groupings like I showed you on the previous tab here but there's also an easier way to do it if you don't want it to group them individually and you have all your summary either your summary columns or summary rows already laid out. Let me go ahead and ungroup all these. Let me do select A and just ungroup everything here. Ungroup my columns. If you've already got your your summary columns laid out in this instance or in this example we can just go to group and do an auto outline and what it's going to do is Excel is smart enough to realize that our summary columns are here because of the sum formulas that's going to group the three months for each of the quarters. So that's a quick way when we go to auto outline it will go ahead and take care of that. You, if you want to ungroup them there's also the clear outline which will take care of removing them. So that's the example for columns. Let's go into our example for rows. So in the example I showed here we had our rows and we had some charts here. I'll show you how to create some of the charts later on what these charts would mean if we wanted to create them out of the outline or groupings here. But let's go into our rows tab here and 
show you how to do that with rows. Now at rows, when we want to go ahead and start to create an outline to group our data, we need to sort the data first. So we're going to sort by the data we want to group in, and that's going to be the region. So there's a couple of ways we can bring up the sort commands, and we're going to go to function. In the sort and filter, we can do a sort here, or we can right click it and go under sort here, or we can use the keyboard shortcut Alt DS. It's going to bring up the same window as if we brought this sort. So there's many ways that we can sort it. I'm just going to go ahead and use the sort and filter group and go under sort. And I'm just going to sort by ascending. So once I'm, I just click a cell in there in the column, and it's going to sort by ascending. So as I mentioned before, you also have to have a summary row or column in order for you to group. So I'd have to create summary a summary row here. So east, let me go ahead and enter in or create a See, insert a cell here, and that's going to be our, my summary for east. And while I'm in there, that was right clicking and go ahead and insert. There's also a keyboard shortcut to do uh, to insert a row, and that's going to be shift control plus sign. And I'll just go ahead and since and do a shift control plus sign here. And if you're already doing some commands, you just want to repeat it. The command to also repeat your last command is F4, and we don't really need to do that here because West is the last one. So if I can control Z and I do a uh, let me control Z here and I do a shift control plus and I go under here row 17 and just press F4 it's going to repeat the last command. So there's some keyboard shortcuts that you can use to make things a little bit faster. So as I mentioned before we have to add our summary row and I'm gonna add my summary row for East and north, I'm going to copy control C, control V to paste, control C, control V to paste, control C, control V to paste, and I'm going to have to summarize the sales data here. So what we can do is type equal sum and open parentheses and just select that. And that's going to sum all that data. Another way we can do it is press the alt equal sign and that's going to also su I'll do an auto sum. That's another keyboard shortcut. And so you can see that it's picked C10 to C11 in this instance. Press return, Alt equal sign. It picked it up correctly here. And then another Alt equal sign. And you can see that it picked up the West correctly. Now we have our summary columns here. And we can go ahead and go to the data tab, go to group, and go to auto outline. And you'll see here that it has actually done it correctly. So instead of grouping individually, we grouped it together. And we can see that if we collapsed it, we have our different regions here. If we expand it to the level of detail, it'll show us that. Now with Excel, there's also a easier way <laughs> to do that. If you didn't, if you wanted to go through the individual groupings and you didn't want to in group others, you can go to the group and ungroup. But there's also the subtotal command or that we can use here that will do this all in one shot. So, But we still need to go ahead and sort. So if I select just any cell in here and just click the sort and click on subtotal, it's going to ask us at each region which 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 we want to do. We want to use the sum function. We want to sum sales. And that it already kind of was smart enough to figure out that there are here's the first column with number. There's the only column actually with number. So it's going to go ahead and pick that one. And if I clicked OK, you can see, let me go double click this to expand to auto fit this. You can see it in addition to creating a sum row, it also created the groupings for us. So that's the real nice thing about the subtotal command here. And as I showed you, and it also created a grand total. As before, we didn't have, we probably had to manually create a grand total here. If we use the subtotal command, it does it for us. Now earlier I showed some charting here, so let me just kind of end with some neat little charting that we can use here. So for example, let's say that I just wanted to chart all the totals. Oops, that's the grand total, so I click number one. Number two is the next level of detail, which is going to show the different region totals. Let's say I just wanted to, to chart those. I just have to select that and do an insert chart, whatever chart I like. Let's see, column chart, right? Or 
Let me go ahead and select that and delete that. A keyboard shortcut for this after we select it is to press Alt F1 and it's going to pick the same chart. Now what happens if we increase this? If we go to level of detail? Let's see. Let me go ahead and oops. Oh, the reason why that didn't work is I need to go ahead and select. And I'm selected. I've selected the chart right now. Let me go ahead and select the table. Let's increase our level of detail. You'll notice that in addition to adding the different bars for all the other rows, it also increased this chart space. Now what we can do to just if we just want to show that data is we have to select it individually. So if I go ahead and close this, let me bring it back to the summarize view and let's go ahead and delete this. I would have to select it individually. So I would have to do a select that, and press the control key and select that and select that and select that and select that separately. Now I press control C to copy. You'll notice that these marching ants are indicating that it's only selected those rows. If there was just one big rectangle of marching ants, it would mean it selected everything in all the other cells that were kind of hidden in the summary view. Now let's go ahead and press Alt F1 to bring up that chart. And if I try to expand this, you'll notice that it doesn't get expanded. There's no more east bars there. That solves that problem. But the other problem that we faced was when we expanded this, Let's say I went and expanded this even more. I'll go and click in here and just expand everything. Oops. Yeah, let's go and undo it. Let's expand everything. I think it's no, three. Yes. See how the column chart grew in size in terms of the dimensions? Let's say we didn't want that. We wanted it to kind of stay the same size. Let me go ahead and Control Z to undo that. What we need to do is go ahead and click in the chart itself, right click it go oops right click it and go under format chart area and we want to select properties and we don't want to move this chart or size it if the cells move so now with that selected if we increased oops go back into the table here if we increased our detail view increase the chart the detail view we'll see that the chart dimensions did not change so that's a little that's a little trick here for charting if you had to chart on your group or outlines. Okay, so there's actually one more thing that I missed um, in terms of grouping data. Let's say that we went back to our columns here and we were creating our summary, our summary column, and we were creating our summary columns here. If we go into the viewing more information in the outline by clicking that little arrow we'll see that the direction of where we want our summary rows if we wanted to right below or if we wanted to the right we need to select that and you can see there's some automatic styles that are created these are styles that would change some of the formatting of the chart I think in, ter in terms of this I believe it's bold for the summary columns or rows so that's a little bit on the settings on that. You just have to be a little bit aware of it. If you notice that you're creating summaries on the left, uh, it might not work. So you might have to adjust this to make sure that it's you're creating on the right. And this, this is ticked off here. So there's an overview of how to group data or outline data in Excel. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.